हेलो एवरी वन सो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स दे कम टू मी एंड दे आस्क सर वी आर यू पी एस सी एक्सपेरेंट एंड शुड वी प्रिपेयर फॉर द आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जामिनेशन एज ए बैकअप ऑप्शन आई ऑलवेज से इट इज़ नॉट ए बैड आइडिया बिकॉज यू पी एस सी यू कैन प्रिपेयर एंड दिस आर बी आई विल नेवर हेम्पर योर प्रिपरेशन इफ यू आर जस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द आर बी आई एग्जामिनेशन पैटर्न एंड यू आर ऑल्सो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इट साइड बाई साइड विदाउट एडवर्स इम्पैक्टिंग योर यू पी एस सी प्रिपरेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर वाट इज द कॉमन सिलेबस एरियाज विच आर देयर इन बोथ आर बी आई एंड यू पी एस सी आई विल डिस्कस द एरियाज ऑफ डिफरेंस एंड आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द आर बी आई अलॉन्ग विद द यू पी एस सी ओके सो दिस स्लाइड इन दिस स्लाइड आई एम शेयरिंग द सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन टू द डिफरेंसिस एंड आई एम शेयरिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एंगल सो फर्स्ट इज नेचर ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन आर बी आई एंड यू पी एस सी बोथ हैव प्रिलिम्स मेन्स एंड इंटरव्यू एंड द डिफरेंस इज इन द आर बी आई प्रिलिम्स इज एम सी क्यू बेस्ड डेफिनेटली जस्ट लाइक यू पी एस सी ओनली बट द मेन्स हैज बोथ एम सी क्यू एंड डिस्क्रिप्टिव सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस दैट मीन्स इन द मेन्स यू ऑल्सो गेट एम सी क्यू दिस इज द डिफरेंस इन द पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके नंबर टू लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सिलेबस एरियाज सो देर इज ए एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट इन द यू पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स and this aptitude test is also there in the rbi phase 1 or which or we also known as rbi prelims so here the common areas are english quant and reasoning three these three areas are coming both in the upsc and the rbi the difference is that in the rbi there are some extra topic which are not given in the upsc however if we see the recent pattern of 2020 2021 cset is becoming more difficult in the upsc so from that perspective rbi examination of aptitude is coming closer to the csat of the upsc because rbi aptitude is already bit more difficult as compared to upsc and now in 2022 after this upsc csat become more difficult so now we can see it is merging one more thing is there that the number of topic which are covered in the rbi are bit extra in addition to the difficulty level right so those topic you need to cover for the rbi along with whatever you are doing in the upsc next thing is the current affairs so in the current affairs for upsc we are already studying government schemes reports economic survey budget and in addition to that you have to do some factual part in the rbi so along with along with these areas and inside in fact these areas only you will do more of facts for example in the economic survey you will find some factual area how much how much uh, growth rate we are having last 3 years or maybe in the budget you will see factual area like how much amount has been allocated to any particular scheme or any any particular government okay now the next area is the economy so the economy is very important in the prelims of upsc and it is very important in the mains of the rbi okay so here there are five important areas which are coming in the prelims and mains of rbi that is the money and banking external sector inflation Uh, public finance and national income these five areas are also important in the prelims of the upsc along with this in the mains of the rbi there are areas like industrial history economic history and uh, similarly you know infrastructure and all these areas and other areas they are all already in the gs paper 3 of upsc in the gs paper 3 there are two more areas that is the sustainable development and the environment these two areas are also there in the rbi so in the gs paper three, there is lot of commonality however the difference is that in the rbi they will also ask the factual question because mcqs are factual only and in the upsc these are more of conceptual question so this is the primary area of difference now coming to the economy means i have discussed that gs paper three lot of areas are covered and in rbi they are doing the mcq also the same thing is repeated here the next comes is the social issues okay so in the social issues there are lot of common areas like urbanization and migration demographics and population gender issues social justice issues then health education indian political system human development all these are the common area most of these area we already studied in the gs paper 2 and also in the prelims so in rbi they are asking the mcq from this and they are asking very simple descriptive question so the number of question in the descriptive is only four question that two very easy questions okay next is the ethics 
So in the ethics, what are the common areas? The basics of the ethics, the meaning, various theories of ethics, then code of ethics, code of conduct, corporate governance, and emotional intelligence. All these are already part of the GS paper four of the UPSC. Now, what are the differences? So two major areas they are focusing in the RBI, that is the business ethics and the communication, right? Now coming to the English part. So English we already have in UPSC prelims, CSAT. There is a comprehension. So this comprehension is there in the uh, RBI mains, and in the UPSC mains English compulsory paper we already have the precise writing, which is there in the RBI precise writing. Okay, in the mains. The difference is that in UPSC they are qualifying, but in RBI they are counted for the merit, right? And what is the difference? In RBI, English, they are also focusing upon some more concept like errors, para jumbles, all these things, which is not the focus in the UPSC. Okay, the next area is the essay. So essay is a separate paper in the UPSC, and in the RBI, they are asking this essay paper inside the English. So there is there is an essay component in the English. The common fact is that. There are common topic, especially focusing upon the economy finance area, where you can write the essay. The difference is that in the RBI, they are asking you three to four hundred words essay, but in the UPSC, you have to write thousand to twelve hundred words essay. So RBI is in fact easier, right? The next is GK, general knowledge. Okay. So in the general knowledge, there are a lot of areas which we are already covering in the prelims, like national park, sports, geographical mapping, important locations, dams, and all. Then art and culture, like important festivals, important dances. Then important organizations, their locations, their summits. Then important rivers, their you know any news regarding them. Then important committees, then summits, awards, defense exercises, and all. So already we are covering in the prelims, and the same area they are asking in much more factual manner in the RBI. Okay, so in the RBI they are asking the micro facts. Okay, so I think now you get a very uh, detailed idea. So overall, if you see, there are some additional things also in the RBI. In the RBI prelims, as I already told you, there are some additional chapters in the aptitude. And there are some additional facts that you have to study, like some days, books, persons. And if you are already preparing for some state examination, then they are also doing this. Okay. So how much time you have to give? One hour. From the time the notification of RBI comes, you start devoting one or maximum two hour if you have more time. So this will be done in that time. Next is RBI mains. Okay. In the RBI mains, you have management topics. There are eight topics of the management, like leadership. Motivation and uh, organizational change, conflict management, all these areas, right? For these topics, you need maximum two weeks of study, four hours daily. If you have the right material and right approach, which we are also providing, because we are providing the classes of commerce and accountancy, and this area are already part of the commerce and accountancy optional. So we are already providing this material. You can get and you can complete maximum in two weeks. Then coming to the economy. In the economy, there are some additional topics in the RBI like derivatives, and there is a specific banking orientation. Okay, so this will also help you in the prelims because in the prelims UPSC they are already asking banking related questions highly in the uh, examination. So all these topics you can cover in maximum in one week, uh, giving four hours daily. Okay, now. There is one more difference between the two. That is the mode of examination in the RBI. It is computer-based examination, but in the UPSC, it is a paper-based examination. Okay. So what is the final verdict? Final verdict is very simple. That RBI grade B, 80% of the area you are already studying in the UPSC. It is just that you have to change your way of reading the facts, way of reading the news. You have to focus more upon the factual part. In addition to the conceptual part, which you are already doing in the UPSC, okay, there are some 20% additional things which you can do after the notification comes. And for this, you can subscribe to some books, some good test series, all of these things, right? And very important thing that you get a very good backup option without impacting your UPSC preparation. In fact, you never know. Uh, working more in the aptitude, working more in the economy. Working more in the current affairs will help you somewhere in the prelims examination. Yes or no? So all these are going to make this RBI a very good complementary examination, which will help you not only give a good position but also 
help you achieve your UPSC dream. Okay, so we at Dialem IES we are also also having some initiatives for the RBI Grade B examination. We are also having a free Telegram channel, and uh, we are also having the study material and the current affairs, especially focusing upon the RBI Grade B Phase One, Phase Two. Then we are also having the mock test series. You can get it at a very reasonable price. Then we are also coming up with the MCQ bank, right? And we are also coming with the classes. Okay. So all these things are available, and I wish that if you plan for the RBI, you get a success. All the best, and God bless you.